So, so, my name is Self Calderwood, and welcome to my YouTube channel. So, this week I decided to use the new Sims 4 Werewolf Pack to make a grunge, punk, emo dream home. Let's check it out. So, I started out with this shell by uh, asking Alexis X because I wanted to save a little time. I'm not a fantastic builder. My 10 minute build challenge kind of proved that, but I'm good at decorating. So I started with a good shell and here we go. Got a grunge house. I started out with these wi these like stone windows, but I ended up replacing them. I changed the windows several times. It was kind of funny. Couldn't quite figure out what would be a good look for the exterior of this house. I figured it out though. Um, then I start dividing up the house. This is actually the same shell I used on a Taylor Swift themed house where each room was a different album, but unfortunately the recording didn't go well. It's still on the gallery, but the video that goes with it isn't going to exist. But I like this shell. It's really simple. It's easy to use. It's very customizable. So I decided to use it to make this awesome grunge home. Put some you know, dirty objects and paints from city living, and the counters are all dirty, cheap stove, cheap fridge, just go with the full punk rock look. I think it turned out pretty nice. We'll have to see what you guys think at the end. Let me know what you think once you've seen it all. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'd love to hear from you guys. I expanded the kitchen a little bit, made it bigger, has a fridge, has a fridge, it already had a fridge. It has a coffee maker and a microwave. <laughs> I love that table. It's just so worn and I love it. And those chairs, I think they're base game. They went really nicely with it. Added some scratches and stuff to the walls, like the werewolf was scratching, trying to get out. When locked at night. It was, this house was so much fun to make. It really was. This is when I decided to change the exterior. It's like, I don't like it. <laughs> Moved the scratches, squeezed out the stairs, accidentally deleted the door. I think those are the final windows I ended up going with. I changed the curtains, put in a thermostat, Gotta have a scratched up painting of Vlad. Vladdy Daddy. <laughs> I ha I had canon that they like used a big rock as their like coffee table. <laughs> like the werewolf went out, stole a huge rock. There there's your uh, TV stand. <laughs> I thought that was pretty clever. And they used like the simple little light bulb light from laundry day stuff. I, I like that light bulb. I love using it in like cheap, grungy, cheap builds that are kind of look run down. I chose like the really old toilet because there wasn't really one that kind of fit what I was looking for. Cracked mirror and then I was like, oh, like the werewolf went nuts seeing themselves so they scratched it all up. That was artistic brilliance. <laughs> Shower. I wanted to put some newspaper under the uh, table, but I decided not to. Put some stuff from Paranormal, some more vampire portraits. I eventually moved them around. There's some laundry. Wolf mat by the door. I, I felt really clever. <laughs> Towel. Then I wanted to put like a workout machine in there. So I ended up using the punching bag with the vampire face on it because I thought that was really funny. Since they have a scratched out picture of Vlad and everything, have them like trained to hurt vampires. There's a kid's room with a desk that's like made out of a door. I thought the, the build by stuff from this pack is just amazing. So good. So good. Then I put window in the bathroom, put some blinds up. What did I do next? Oh, lights. 
course. Can't do, know what you're doing if you can't see what you're doing. Stereo. I decided to make it kind of like a teen's room. So I decorated it all like rebellious and punky. Stereotypical Just Justin poster. Wolf guitar. <laughs> and then there's the uh, adult's bedroom. Uh, I had to take a break for a second because my mom wanted something. I love those lights. They came with, I think, Eco Lifestyle or Parenthood. And I just, they're so cute. Little jar lights. So good. Then I got a futon. Put some rugs down. I think I used, yeah, Paranormal. Paranormal stuff was in here. I used a lot of packs. I, I always do when I build because I just can't help myself because there's just so much cool stuff in all the packs that I can't help myself. I gotta use what I can. And then I put a thing with a fox above the door because there wasn't one with a wolf so I was like, fox, it's a canine. It kind of works. And then I got a busted old dresser, some peeling wallpaper, scratches, wolf poster desk which is so cute that is a really cute old desk like this pack just ah uh, they outdid themselves with this built by stuff they really did i kept trying to figure out where to put that bookshelf i don't remember where i ended up putting it but there's a spot for coats and boots calendar with a dog on it i'm i'm a stinker i am such a little snot then I moved the picture of Laddie Daddy, <laughs> put a window there because it wasn't light enough. Thought it looked better that way, and it does. Then my mom wanted something else for a second because she hurt her ankle, so she needs help right now. Uh, then I put the newspapers under the table. I decided, I went back and decided to. It's been a couple days since I built this, so I'm trying to remember what I did everywhere. Size down the rug. Put a little wolf gnome outside. Just so much good stuff. And then a, a little dog stitch. I'm such a brat. I am such a brat. Then I moved the windows. Or did I use complete? No, I put a screen door. Because I wanted to put it in a backyard. That's right. Then I put a worn old fence. It's a little backyard, but it looks good. There wasn't a gate that went with it, so I just knocked a hole in it. Some gardening plots if you want your werewolf to be a gardener. Telescope so they can look at the moon and maybe get crushed by a meteor. I'm so glad that death is back. I really am. <laughs> a woohoo bush right out front. Then I made the landscaping look like all overgrown and gnarly. I, I was really proud of the landscaping on this house. I'm not usually good at landscaping, like at all, but I think I did myself here. And then what did I do? I wanted the uh, moon thing that came with Realm of Magic, but then I thought a horror movie poster. I like it, so I put put that there. I wanted the count the clock but it didn't work there was nowhere to put that wolf thing with the moon wolf thing it's from the magic pack I'm losing my mind <laughs> and then I put muddy paw prints outside the doors like inside the doors like the wolf was going in and out I, I, I thought that was clever coat rack and then what else did I do I believe that is it so I hope you enjoyed looking at my little messy grunge house. I think it's adorable. It has so much like gnarly charm. I think it would make a werewolf very happy to live there. If you want to download it, don't forget, it's up on the gallery under my name. No spaces. If Hope to see you guys next week. Until next time, stay goofy. Tech